other one is a data-driven business. We need to collect and to perform a lot of analysis and we need to be able to perform this analysis and to get the insight uh, as soon as possible. We cannot test the car. We need to design the car using computers and running a lot, a lot of simulation. From that simulation, we need to understand, you know, the performance of the car and how to improve the performance of the car. We have another room like this in Sakura, uh, where they can really collect all the data from the track on the engine and they can really provide insight uh, here in Faenza or at the track. So we have an opportunity to work together, to communicate and to coordinate on that. Honda partnership is uh, vital for us and it's really strategic. The car is built around the engine. For us it's vital to take all the competence from Honda and Honda take our needs and try to produce the best possible car. It's not important just the communication itself, but it's important how you communicate. So Rida provides a standard that is very reliable in a mission critical environment like Formula One is very important. It provides a way that uh, simplifies these kind of things. So for a partner like Honda, it's quite easy to integrate in the same you know, communication uh, of Toro Rosso and it's very easy, easy to, to implement and to configure the system in a way that you like. For example, you would like to speak just with a, uh, some person in, in Honda that are looking for a specific part of the engine. So with just a, a simple configuration, with a press of a button, you can speak to the right person. The race are won at the factory. So we develop the car through the season. We have a production planning for that. What happened is that on Thursday, uh, you start to perform a, a lot of briefing and you need to communicate again and to be coordinated with your partners, revising all the data all in your planning, deciding what to do, how many runs, which kind of tires, and what we need to test. Uh, for the next races, maybe some new parts. Again, it's very important not just uh, to have the links, the global link, but even to use uh, the proper tools for that, so the proper equipment. So it is vital to use the you know the equipment provided by Riddle, Intercom, and Adset to communicate with uh, with all the partners. During the race, we have uh, so many challenges. Uh, there are a lot of events that can happen, you know, safety car, an incident, something related to the weather, something related to our competitors. So it's very difficult. The main challenge is related to the strategy. And the strategy comes from, you know, the team, but even is a matter of communication and collaboration because each expert can really say something and can really have an impact on the strategy. So we really like to have uh, you know, this communication system using the Riddle network and the Riddle equipment just to communicate in a very reliable and fast way in order to take decision in time. Race preparation is a challenge. When we arrive at the track, we just have an empty garage. So we need to start with the cabling and having our infrastructure and connecting everything. We have to set up our networks uh, a couple of days in advance. And to do that, we have a group of people who come trackside and establish the connection, our tunnel connection between our engine partner and also with our headquarters back in Fianza. And this enables us to have a very high speed link and also enables us the security and obviously the reliability, which in Formula 1 is absolutely crucial. Uh, we are here with the Riddle engineers that provide the links provided by the Riddle networks. It is a global uh, fiber link with a very good quality of services and it is reliable and provides the right performance. We, during the setup, we have the link, in, I, I would say, on Wednesday, so we can start, you know, communicate and we perform the same checklist uh, here uh, in Faenza, in Sakura, Operation Room and in Bister just to ensure that we can really communicate using the Riddle equipment, so the headset and the intercom panel, so we can really have the communication. Here we have the real model of the car, you know, a very good representation because you can see the internals. We have hundreds of sensors on the car transmitting data and we need to speak to the drivers. So the guys, the crew, are the engineers and the, the P2 guys that are looking at the strategy need to communicate. So Riddle is providing uh, you know, communication system in order to enable this kind of communication that need to be reliable, need to be very clear because the driver need to understand what to do in some you know, critical conditions. So we have second to do that. So it is very important to have 100% good car and 100% good and reliable communication system. So furthermore, with Riedel, obviously we have uh, cars running on track and to monitor the cars and, and what's going on with the car, we have a live telemetry. This also is a streamed secure network and through our tunnel. It gives the ability to have more than just a group of people at the track looking at the data. This gives us two people real time back in uh, our headquarters and back at Vista and the, the engine partners to look at the data as well. Comms, uh, car, telemetry, radio, it's all part and parcel of Formula One. It's all part and parcel of high-speed communication. Without it and without the support of Redel, 
you know, it would be a completely different place where we are today. Riddle Network is providing, you know, a very good link and, uh, and a very good equipment to communicate. The cooperation between uh, Toro Rosso and Honda for Riddle is based on managed service for radio, intercom and MPLS connection. When we're talking about MPLS connection, you can figure out like a very fast internet connection, which allow us to connect all the people based in the factory, both in Sakura, Vister and Faenza in real time. Today, Formula One has a rules which allow only to have 60 people on track. So it's very vital that communication has to be fast, efficient and reliable. That is why we always been uh, innovative in the sector and Riddle was the first one to introduce MPLX connection back in 2007. The MPLS connection is provided by our sister company Riddle Network which is based in Butzbach, Germany. This connection allows us to have uh, all the personnel involved in Formula One which is quite sophisticated in these days in real time listen and speaking with drivers during the run. To give you an example the uplink and downlink connection between uh, Suzuka and Italy is about 272 milliseconds in this case. In the future, uh, the big role on that will be played by additional intelligence put over the communication. We have a lot of humans speaking uh, over the, the network, uh, over the headset and the intercom panels, and you have a lot of other data coming from the car, I mean telemetry data, and that's all together. So there are massive, there's a huge amount of data that you need to process. Human brain is not, you know, the perfect tools to use in that case and the idea in the future, the vision that we, we share with our partner that is Riddle is to have something that is really helping the engineer at the track taking the proper decision in time. And in order to do that you need to have a very good integration and partnership so you have a system to deliver communication and you have a system to deliver intelligence for your engineers and that can be used to really improve the performance of the car and maybe win the race.